The course profile assignment is central to the curriculum development course. It's from this key assignment that you're going to build out your lesson plan and, and your outline. And there's a lot that is attached to uh, what happens within the course profile. And there's there's several things that you need to address. So the first part is part A, where you're actually building out the profile or the plan. I often refer to the course profile as a plan. And your plan will take shape depending upon whether or not you're going to be doing an outcomes-based format of instruction or a competency based format of instruction and in part a we we ask you to um, design your approach to curriculum development based on your needs and and you know looking at the needs assessment and if you're dealing with introductory students if you're dealing with uh, uh, skills based activities uh, if there's a lot of testing credentialing these types of things quite often you're going to be working in a competency based environment if you're dealing with students at a higher order uh, in, at a higher level or working with higher order thinking skills or significant projects or doing workshops you might be then focused on outcomes based uh, education and instruction well I'm going to point you to resources that will help you make this decision. But when you make this decision to use either OBE or CBE, which is a short, uh, shortened version of those two approaches, you will then align the competency-based approach, a CBE, with a DACUM, a DACUM chart. And um, if you're doing outcomes-based or OBE, you will be doing an outcomes map. And so you've got two different development approaches and two different course profile tools that you're going to develop. Now, the course that you're developing or the workshop uh, that you're going to be developing has to fit within approximately 30 hours of instruction. And it has to be a big enough chunk of instruction so that you can see how all the pieces fit together. 30 hours of instruction is a typical semester-based course, 13, 14 weeks, um, or it's a four or five day, four day, three three and a half, four day, maximum five day workshop. So keep that in mind. Now, the decisions that you make, you know, uh, why you've chosen outcomes based versus competency based um, what is a course about what is it why is it need all these will fit into the second part uh, which is part b of your assignment and that's the course profile rationale where you justify all the decisions that you made and here are the questions that we want you to address where does this course fit in terms of the program variety of other things right why did you choose a certain design template you know why did you go outcomes based versus competency based this is a key thing um, and then you want to talk about your alignment and and how the different pieces fit within that context. Now, this assignment is due um, specified in, in the course, either week four or five. There's a bit of flexibility on that. Um, but I uh, more importantly than when this assignment is due, I want to let you know that I want you to talk to me about competency based versus outcomes based as soon as possible either within the first or second week that you start working on this all the decisions that you make are dependent upon what format you choose and sometimes you need to actually bounce a few ideas off of somebody else and you want to make sure that you're on the right track before you go down the daycom approach before you go down the the uh, outcome map approach you want to have a quick conversation with me we'll talk about the course verify that you're on the right track and then you will be able to develop the things that you need to develop. The second part or part C, shouldn't say the second part, the third part, part C of this assignment um, is the resubmission. Um, so what we want you to do at, when you submit your uh, assignment, we're going to give you feedback. And if you submit your assignment on time, I'm able to give you extensive feedback. And you can take that feedback and then we give you an opportunity to make some revisions, to make some adjustments. And based on the feedback that we give you, you make those revisions, you make those adjustments, you resubmit those, and then you have an opportunity to gain an additional five points. And we do this in a couple of assignments, and sometimes uh, those extra five points could be the difference between a letter grade. So keep that in mind. You have the opportunity to make some revisions very simply, very quickly, very easily. So you've got two components. The course profile, which is going to be a decision between competency based and outcomes based. Um, you're going to build either a DACOM chart or an outcomes map. Um, and that's going to be the core of your work. And then you've got a rational document that justifies why you made the, the decisions that you made. So I'm looking forward to working with you. And don't forget to set a time to meet with me to talk about the different format and focus on whether or not it's going to be outcomes based or competency based. Once you've got that foundation, you then are ready to move forward and uh, build the course that you want to build.